Hello YouTubers! Um, today on Tech Time with Ben, um, I have here with me a arcade style um, coin acceptor. Um, well, I guess this isn't really arcade style, um, but it's a coin, electronic coin selector. Um, show you the side here. Uh, you got your sample coin there, uh, which it compares things to, and I really wish... That, there it goes. Autofocus. Um, so it's got, and then, you know, brains sitting under here, and then on the other side you can see the solenoid that it uses to actuate whether or not there's a coin that goes through. Um, and so recently I just figured out how to hook it up to my Arduino to measure, to, to get the pulses that it sends off. Um, so, like, say, you could use it with, um, you know, a display and say, oh, you've inserted this many credits or something. Um, and so I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. And you see, every time I insert a coin, it flashes that light. So, now, I have it currently on its max setting for time. I wonder if I can put it on medium, if it'll still work, which is on the common time of 50 milliseconds pulse. And it still gets it. Granted, if you notice, the light on there gets really fast, or get is much faster than what it was before. And I just changed it again. Now let's see what it looks like if that light will still flash. It does. So there's that flash. Let's compare it to the long flash. You can definitely see that it is that this is responding to the t amount of time the pulse this that this pulse is at. So you go long pulse, long pulse, go to short pulse here, short pulse, short pulse, and then or sorry, medium pulse, and then now short pulse. And is it there? Go. So um, that's it for now. Um, I think my next project that I'll do is try to hook up an LCD display and have the display change what it says based on the number of pulses that it sees. Um, so stay tuned.